But anyway, go ahead. Um, I think it's a, such of a different answer for anybody because sometimes you don't have to wait on somebody. They can just be right there, available, waiting, waiting you. for you. Wait on you. You know, it could also be, you know, that uh -huh. maybe you never even was waiting. That person was probably was waiting on you, you know. But I think for one, again, it all depends on, you know, how long. It could be from a couple of weeks to months. Now, how long do you wait for someone until you just go, Eh, you know what? I'm done. I think it it just starts coming flags when that person, you know, is not as communicative to, um, to to your each and every move. You know, I think it gets to a point where you just gotta go. You know what? Uh, this isn't working out. I'm not gonna keep waiting. You're not taking my signs. You're not you're not taking my bait. I'm just gonna go and fish somewhere else. Fine. Since you want to dance, because that's what, that's what you niggas can do. You can do. All right, no, nah, never mind. But what I can say is this: the problem is this. I think a lot of the times the problems be the woman. Let me tell you why. That's right. What you expect? It ain't never our fault. That's right. Yeah, but you see his business. movies. This is where he goes. <laughs> Surprise? Who's surprised? surprised? I'm not. Did you see? I just rolled my eyes. And I'm just waiting. No, that's cool. This is why. Damn. Damn, I ain't got no thing, but that's okay. We'll bring back up later. The problem is this. Women, y'all don't hold everybody to the same standards. That's the whole thing. You allow one guy or two or three other guys to treat you a certain way, but then you put out there as if these are your standards normally. And that's not the case. So then we want to turn around and be like, oh, well, I caught the signs. First off, you're not going to catch the signs because, let's be perfectly honest, the more you like somebody, the less they got to do. Can we agree on that? Facts. Mm. The more you like somebody, the less, the less they, they have to do to impress you. Right. Oh, shit, she looked at me. Oh, shit. No, exactly. No, the whole thing is this. You, you lower the standard because right. you want, you want, you're going to force the vibe. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Like, yeah. yeah. The difference is this. It may not last forever, but that's the thing. But forever could be about six months. Forever could be about about a year. We're not talking about a good time because you can only you can only make a real judgment call like that after some time. Easy. Easy. People do it all the time. People do it all the time. You know, I cannot like somebody because I don't know them. But if I have a goal, I may, it depends on Tolerate. Whether, she's quality, like, whether she's quality or not, I can wait for something, not know her, but it, it's just a, a, a high goal that I have. She may be a quality woman, and I'm willing to put in more work, but that don't necessarily mean I like her. Right. It just means I want to achieve this goal. Right. I'm more we'll tolerate a little bit more of your BS. Right. I think y'all play. I think y'all just read the question. What I'm saying is this: basically, the person you're making yourself conveniency, and you're being there for the person. You showing your interest in everything, and the person really isn't reciprocating. So the question is: that's where it comes to the point is how long do you wait? Yes, and like yeah, I said, it all like, depends. No, like, in. the shot is in. You made the saying. shot. Y'all are okay, you're in a relationship, the question. Like, but as you're in this quote unquote relationship, and relationship doesn't even mean that you're exclusive. We're just saying if you're dealing with somebody's relationship one way or another. So what I'm saying is, how long do you stay in it? Be and things are not changing because I always feel at the beginning of a relationship, one person likes the other person more than the other. I, I kind of always feel that way. Okay. It's kind of real that everybody's so over. I've never heard of two people being heads over heels and then going to get married and being together. I've never heard of that. One it person happens. likes the other person a little more or a lot more than the other person. Now, here's something that I wanted to ask, because um, you said in terms of um, how long does this person wait? Well, how long, like, how long does it take until you put everything out there like how long um are you gonna um go until you go hey i like you and this that and the third and you're putting all these 
like impressions and everything out there and then you they you realize they don't like you like when do you get to that point i think that answers the question if you're taking it like step by step and you're slowly you know putting yourself out there then that also will say in terms of how long you should wait until you go you know what this person's not doing anything so for example if i'm with someone and we've been going together for let's say six months during the six months i have been doing a whole bunch of things to really show that i like them i take them out everywhere where I do this and it just seems like they're not reciprocating. They're not showing me that same exact thing or it's even less. It, it, it looks like they're not even doing anything. It's pretty much they're using me. I think it's going to get to that point after that. I'm just going to end it because it's like you're not showing anything. You're not showing me that you care for me. So why should I have to keep going showing all this in the first place? Actually, he is showing that if you got the six months, he is showing something. He's showing just enough. Carol to keep you, baby. Around. He's showing just enough. That's the whole thing. Carol Brooks, Ripken. The cabinet in front of the horse. Carol Ripken, Ripken, baby. Thank you. Carol Ripken, baby. That's I'm like, he's just showing just show enough. Up. He's showing just enough. I keep enough. coming back, don't I? I keep coming back. He's showing just enough. You know. And, but some, but you're also, I, and I think a lot of times women put that unnecessary pressure on us. Men and women are different, A and B. Period. Yep. Personality types are different. Exactly. Some people are, are introverts, and some people are not. And, mm. and, and that introvert person, they, they, they may really be feeling you, but they just, it's right. not in them to be like bubbly. And like so you don't them. buy into that. So you don't buy into that whole bullshit of opposites attract. I mean, that happens a lot. Of I'm not yeah. saying it doesn't happen, but I'm saying this people make that like, a law. They make this like a cardinal rule. It's like, yo, no, because not. I'm not, I'm not, honestly, I'm not cool with that. I'm not cool with that. I'm going to tell you why I'm not fully cool with the whole opposite of track. Cool this is why I'm not, like this, when I say I'm not cool with it, I don't mean that I, I don't understand it to be true in some case, but this is what I mean. I'm not cool with it. I'm not cool. I'm not, no, I don't, and I don't think it should be because I don't think those relationships last. And this is, this is the reason why. Not work, and you can be different and it works. It depends on what you got to the right. That's why I was going to get at, Nikki. This is my whole thing. Criminal and lawyer. For example, mm -hmm. if you're a so called party animal, yeah. Yeah. whether it's male or, male or female, whoever the one is, and the other person isn't, Homebody. I don't really see how that's going to work. It can, it it can, can but it's going to have a lot of rough it patches. Depends, mm -hmm. It depends on the trust level of the non party animal. If the trust level of the non-party animal is high, y'all will be just fine because they trust you. And if that person is trustworthy, they may just be a type of person, I just want to be out and dance, and then after that I come straight home, they can be cool. So let me flip this. But if they fucking around, no, but no, I, I'm not, not even throwing that fucking around part in. Let me let me flip this. Let me flip that. So never mind the trust and somebody jumping out there, stuff like that. You out there partying in the mood, things like that. You doing whatever you're doing. First off, we're, we're, we're human beings. We're not science projects. So all this, a, a, the plus and the negative, all that stuff don't have nothing to do when it comes to matters of the heart. Stuff like that. Because me personally, I need more commonality than difference. That's mm -hmm. just me. I don't need I don't need everything to be a goddamn mystery. Like, damn, I like up, you like down, you like left, I like right. Like everything can't always be that. At some point, we gotta meet somewhere and like, you know what? This is cool. You an introvert, I'm an extrovert. No, you better have some introverted or extroverted shit about you somewhere. But the whole thing is this. Like no, I'm gonna tell you what she does have to like. She has to like movies. And my wife loves movies too. You know what I'm saying? Like, I knew that going into it. It's not just, hold on, that's not even just about her. Any female that I considered a girlfriend, any, she's cool with sports, but it's not one of those, maybe with a Devin, because he's a, put it this, I got good sports knowledge, I understand stats a lot, and I watch what I'm going to watch, and I'm and everything else after that is going to pretty much be barbershop talk. You're not going right. to mention too many names I'm not going to be familiar no, learn with, sports, but he's you're going to be more yeah, into learn sports. You know what I'm saying? That's it. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Uh, We're never together, right? <laughs> you gonna learn sports. That's what I'm saying. With me, I'm a movie person. You gotta, but you gotta love this because the movies, the movies thing. 
that's a certain level of camaraderie with me. That's why I hate when I hear women say, oh, if you want to impress me, don't take me to no dinner in a movie. Er, all those chicks that say that, ladies, if you're looking, if ladies, if you're looking, and a guy yeah, wants to take you on a date, that. you're going to if a guy wants to take you on a date to movies, go. Because it's a lot of you single women out take there me out. Me that me. curve me. the movie and the dinner. And if you curve the movie and the dinner, you'll never get a ring. And you know, I'm telling you that. But you know what? But you know what's <laughs> funny about that, right? It'd be the chicks don't have nothing to say who hate dinner and the movie dates. Like I don't want to talk to you because you have nothing to talk about. Mm. I'm trying to fill this time. Or something that we can do that you don't have to talk because you're not interesting. So man, yeah. violent. is a movie is a movie date bad? Is a bad date? Is a movie date? No, I don't think it's a bad, bad day at all. I think it's a good Nikki, day. Nikki, is that a bad date? I don't know. There's a lot of margin for error too. And you hear what and you hear what they say? They say the dumbest thing. They say, well, you can't talk during the movie. And every time a chick says that, I'm like. I say, bitch, we ain't supposed to talk during the movie. Right, right. That's the point. Like, nah, that great right. no, I don't, I don't talk like that. But that's what I be thinking in my head. They be like, oh, because they say things because it sounds cool. Why take me to a movie? We can't talk in the movie, bitch. Did you not hear me say we going to dinner afterwards? Yeah, right. We're because right. We're for one, this is why, this is why dinner, movie, and the dinner is good. First mm -hmm. off, you have to consider the time frame. If I meet you on a Saturday night. Let's just say we might not speak until Monday. Me personally, because I always had a day or so go by. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's just me. Just, yeah. And this was me way You're before suppressed. way before the word thirsty came into an effect. Uh -huh. That's just that was just one of my rules. So fine. Maybe by Tuesday I call you up. We talk a little bit on the phone. If the conversation isn't really going too far, but yet you don't want to blow it, you be like, you know what? Let me just get cut right to the point and invite her out to this movie. movie yeah. Right. First off, we're definitely gonna see a movie that I wanna see. Because if it's a bad day, shit, I got that shit on the movie. movie. That's that movie. That shit was one, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. And so we go to the movies. I haven't really we don't know too much about each other other than the regular good morning text. How are you doing? That's what mm -hmm. how was your day so far? First off, you know what's funny about those texts? You're asking all that shit. They go to work at nine o'clock, you asking all that shit by nine twenty. Yep. Like, good morning. How you doing? How's the day working? Like, well, the first 20 minutes have been cool. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? It was going so fine. Yeah, right. So, woke up. You go <laughs> on your day. No, I'm not sure. But I'm not sharing that shit early. I'm not sharing that like shit early. Right. No, like no, no. This. I just realized something. I just like this. It can happen. But if it happens every day, it's just some shit with you. Yeah, it's just you. Yeah. That's why. Put <laughs> this. I don't. I don't. I don't. <laughs> Recorded. No, you can't. Because yeah. if, you, if you have a crappy job, that's your fault. Right. Listen, and this is what I mean by that. If, oh if it gets, it's a difference between doing what you have to do and then being like, okay, this shit is just unbearable. Right. You know what I'm saying? When I get to the point that a job is unbearable, yo, I was the master of walking out of interviews and just leaving. My, my thing was, where's the bathroom? And once you took me to the bathroom, I would just leave, like completely. But back to the dating thing. Of a four, I had a run when I did that shit. Like seven, <laughs> he remember I had like seven <laughs> job interviews, and then he called me like, "Yo, niece, you got a job today?" Like, hell no, they talking about commission. Right. So I got time for commission. Nigga, my rent is due. You so knobs, nigga. Let me so tell you, nice. <laughs> when your rent is yo, when your rent is due, the word commission is the worst <laughs> word right. in the history. Right. I'm si I'm sitting there looking like I'm sitting there looking like first off. I'm online looking for all kind of jobs. And why is it, you know, you jump out there, they be like, yeah, because they put it in bold lettering. You can make $1,500 a week. Be your own boss. <laughs> <laughs> be, be your own boss. Man, man is the exactly. <laughs> and so, man, it's not the okay. thing. <laughs> so I'm thinking to myself, okay, $1,500 a week. You doing the math, nigga, that's that's six thousand in a month. Right, right, right. My bills is only about twelve hundred. I'm gonna be, be right back. Right. I go inside there. It's always some shit. Build your team up, uh, and, in, uh, and in about eight months you'll start making fifty dollars. I'm like eight months. I won't make it to eight months. Right. You know the big giveaway is how surprised they are that you showed up and shit. Oh, hey, come on in, please, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you saw and you do. He showed up. He showed up. I told you. I told you. Come in, yo, sit down. Come on, please, please, come in. Come in. Do interviews. 
you do the interview and you always surpass the interview, right. they'd be like, you know what, you're the kind of guy we're looking for. Right, right. So once they say all that shit, they gas me. I'm feeling good about myself. Right, right, right. And I'm like, all right, so what's like the base pay? They was like, base pay? They was like, nah, right, right, you right. have to build up your team. Right, right. So <laughs> I sit, exactly. So I sit so there. Punching the clock. I sit there. It. I let them talk for the next 10 minutes. Then I'm like, hey, what's wrong? I'm like, I got a bathroom. And I just leave, and I never come back uh, at all. Huh? I got tricked into going to one of those uh, wake up now joints. Oh, like, oh man. shit! And it was deep too. It was like sixteen heads in somebody's oh. basement for real. First I of all, anybody looking? Like real paper. Anybody looking? Anytime they tell you to group interview, they're, oh, they're probably paying eight dollars and twenty two cents. Yeah, that's exactly what they're paying. But I can tell you the funny thing: the worst job that I ever, I gonna say job I've ever had. When I actually follow through on one of those jobs, be your own boss. Yeah. Do you know if, if you're familiar with the Towson area, especially around where the courthouse is at? Okay. Yeah. Okay. All the houses and everything back mm -hmm. there. Yeah. The wire back there. I was selling, like, it was like fire equipment and stuff. It's supposed to be for houses and stuff. Oh, shit. Door so, to door? Hold on, hold on, hold up, huh? You just go door to door? Door to door. Door to door. Okay, for example, they have this thing, and I always remember it's called flame retardant. So, for example, if there's a fire inside here right now and we have to get out, we throw the flame retardant down. That The flame retardant, like say we make it around here. It takes the fire and moves it around so you can get through. Oh, so, okay. sounds cool. Yeah, right. Yeah. But how do you market that? Yeah, right. I'll tell you how you market that. So, 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 so I don't know. Listen, no. I mean, you work it how you just did it right Hold now. On. No, this is what you do. They give you this. They give you a piece of the paper. Right. It's like almost one of those, you know, like when your, your peoples make um, a, a Thanksgiving pie or whatever. Uh, oh, like that wax paper, paper shit, right? Yeah. yeah right. So, no, but they give you the pan. It's like, the, it's like okay, that. Okay, okay. So this is, this is oh, part, oh, yes. so the, a pie tin, pie yeah. tin, pie tin. So they got, right. I don't know if it's aluminum because it can be burn, but it wasn't. All right. So it's, it's that kind of thing. And they give you the strips. You have many strips of the flame retardant. You put the flame retardant on it, and then you have to light it. Right. So, boom, I'm about 6'3", 240 some pounds at a time. But I got a cool G on, I'm chilling. But I'm still <laughs> 16 and black. Yeah, right, black. Yes, I'm not even there. You know what I'm saying? I have to throw that in. So I'm going door to door. So no, no, I, hell no. So I'm walking, <laughs> I'm, walking I'm knocking on doors. They first off, they're looking through blinds before they open the door. They're like, so they look through the blinds. So a couple of people <laughs> put this. So I didn't make any. So I get there. So I get I'm knocking on doors. I'm not making any sales. So I get to a church that's up there. I thought I was close to making a sale. So the church kind of was like, ah, oh, come back. So I said, damn. So let me walk to some more houses. Long story short, I get to like the fourth house. As I'm walking away from the house, woo, police just pull, pull up. up. Yeah, right. So they're like this, um, what you doing in this area? So I was like, you know, so I'm, I'm showing them my stuff. I was like, mm -hmm. yes, I work for yada, yada, yada. I'm selling this. He was, I was like, is there a problem? He was like, yeah. He said, you know, there have been four break-ins around here that oh, you fit the description. Oh. No, they no, I'm, 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 I'm dead ass. They told me I fit the description. Now, this is what we're talking about, youth. This is what, hold up, let me get to that. They, this is what I mean about youth and being old and understanding how to deal with police, because I was only maybe 24 at the time. So instead of me just saying, or just cooperating and not really saying nothing, after he said I fit the description, instead of me keeping my mouth closed, what do I say? I said, what were y'all looking for? Somebody three feet to three, three, anybody three feet to eight feet tall, black? Right, right. Yeah. So he said, oh, you want to be smart? Sit in that curb. Okay. So now I'm on the curb, and then he calls in more backup. So now yeah, it's right. three cars right, there. Right. Oh, man. So all the neighbors out there, the one lady came out. She was like, no, he was just trying to, he was just trying to sell this little, his right, she's right. Like, she's like, he was trying to sell this little fire stuff or whatever. They said, so after, all the people that house, they went to every house that I went to <laughs> and to make sure. Right, right, right. Is, is this nigga who said he was right? Is this a nigga? Please <laughs> tell us he was with the cops we sweat on. It's a nigga with the cops we sweat on. sure <laughs> it wasn't him that broke in last week? Because yeah. mind you, all the four breakings happened last week. And all I right. picked this hey, nigga. Did you went in, right? Uh -huh. so, they went, so they went to all the houses. Hostel. So they went to all the houses. So then after that, I'm thinking, okay, all the people was like, no, he, j he came up, he was respectful. They said, Okay, we're about to let you go. As they said they're about to let me go, they say, hold up. Do you have a hot license? I was like, 
a what? A what? He said a hawk license. And I have to find out the real thing. You have to have a license to sell door to door in the county. Oh, wow. hundred dollar fine. Hundred dollar fine. Are you serious? Yes. They, they still got wow. you. Still got me. They was like, wow. oh, you're not getting away in Peter. Something's going to happen. Ugly truth. And you went to that whole thing and he said, well, well, let me see the demonstration. Yeah, they were right. Yeah, I thought it was going to say, yeah, I thought it was going to say, well, like, we'll take it. Like. No, because the damn, first off, the funny shit is, the damn flame retarder wasn't even working. I'm sitting up there, <laughs> it worked for like two houses, the rest of them, I'm like, you get the idea. Like, oh. I was all over the place. Didn't show them shit. It was just like, you get the idea. Yeah. Or whatever. So, no, we don't. Bye. Yeah. You know, Ooh. I'm calling the police. <laughs> <laughs> You know that's 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 what's going to happen. Things like that. that no, I'm telling you. Well, it's not a disaster when you black. It's always a disaster. Mm. It's always a disaster. That's it. So that's what I need everybody looking. So, so, so getting back to y'all thing for mm -hmm. like the topic. So, is there a time period you should wait? Like, is it is it like four months of, of not getting the type of response you want? You give up or? Um, see, I've always been, yeah, I was, yeah. I, we were talking about it, yeah, the, the, the thought that was going through my mind is um, a subject, matter of fact, I think it was like the first show we ever did, Nice. Uh, we're talking about your representative, when you come into a relationship. Yes. Um, and so, yeah, we're, we're in the relationship, but how long are you being the person, the, you know, the super dateable person that you, you want to portray to me in that, that first, you know, two to three months of the relationship? Now, once all that infatuation stuff fades, I feel like that's when the relationship really starts. Mm. Now, by infatuation, it means once you hit it. Uh, no, no, because once you hit it, shit might get worse. Like you might then, then all of their flaws might fall away if the sex is good enough. But yeah, like, oh, you know what? Yeah. Oh, it's not even that bad. It's not that cross. But <laughs> but, but it, it's so so once once the infatuation once you you're comfortable with somebody, I feel like. You're truly in a relationship when that your significant other calls you and you you contemplate about ah, I really want to just stay in the house. I don't feel like doing this shit right now. Like that's when you know you're in a relationship and you get up anyway because you know how your your relaxation is your relaxation is less important than their their feelings about you. You understand what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? Like you would rather her be happy be than like to chill that like chill back. That with your wife or kids, you just made have one of them moments where you just don't want to be bothered. Yeah, okay, but that once once that comes about, then that's when you're in a real relationship. Okay. That's when you're in a real relationship. Now, mm. once you're in that and they got some shit with them and you voiced your problem with what the shit is that the problem you have with them and they mm -hmm. still haven't done anything about it, that's when your timer starts. Now, how long your timer goes? <laughs> no, how long your timer goes? It's a uh, I believe it's a Chris Rock joke, but um however long you were in a relationship, cut that in half and that's how long you've been breaking up. You get what I'm saying? So if you're in a relationship for four, yeah, you've been in a relationship for four years. Uh, she started breaking up with you two years in. You get what I'm saying? Uh, it's the truth. They, like she been, uh, if your girl breaks up with you, she been tired of your shit long, 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 long before you realize that she was tired of your shit. So with that being said, uh, once you've pretty much put it out on the table, once you're done giving out hints, and it's gotten to the point where I'm looking you in your eyes and telling you what the fuck my problem is with you. Mm -hmm. And the next day you wake up and you go back to doing the same thing like it never happened. That's you're giving me a reason to leave you. Mm -hmm. This is my thing. Fuck all that. Fuck all that. Because <laughs> yeah, boy. women, no, women with this whole breaking up thing. Look here. You want to break up? You don't need my permission to break up. Facts. That's for one. That's for one. Facts. And this whole fight for it and all that other shit like that. Earn yo, me. I, please, don't let Olivia Pope keep you bitches single, man. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. <laughs> yo, because, don't even bring up scandal because all she do is mess with the white man. And oh, she got Hispanic now. She's got Hispanic. Oh, okay. Please. She I didn't watch that show. So. I, I sure. watch my wife watching that shit. But I, I, say all this, I say all that to say this. If you got an issue, my thing is this. You can also, why is it you always have an issue? That was one of my things, not even my wife or nothing like that, but females I've been before that had a not female you, you, you. that would be like, no, I had a female that would be like, yo, this, these are my issues with you. And then I really didn't have any issues with her. Like, I really didn't. I was like, yo, the problem is this. You got all these goddamn issues with me. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking like, what is the, 
Yeah, I was like, what the fuck? She was like, so then, no, because she was under this whole thing like, well, let's talk. You tell me some of the things I do wrong. I said, look, I don't got time for this shit. I'm like, yo, the things you do that I don't like, they're not unbearable. Maybe I keep just using unbearableness for everything, but I kind of give females a little leeway for shit. For example, imagine me wanting to be in a relationship with a female that doesn't overreact. Let's see how that one see how that one's gonna work out. It's just not gonna happen. It's just not gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? Let, imagine me, imagine, let me, imagine me saying that I don't want to be in no relationship with a female that's just not going to overanalyze things. It's not going to happen. Like, my thing is with guys, shit. we know a lot of this shit going into it. Like, yo, I be thinking, women be thinking, we be sitting around being like, yo, man, fuck these bitches, you ain't got to do that. No, nine out of ten, when female, when guys have talked to other guys about their situations like with their whether it's their fiance their wife their girlfriend we kind of take the female side and i don't mean like she's right it's kind of like yo what you doing you wrong yo. know what yeah. they going to do this is what you did you knew she was going to act like this so you have to clean it up this way mm -hmm. now we may understand where you are coming from with something but we was like yo you you know this is how they think. Like you already know this going into it, so you knew how this was going to play out in her mind. Yes, yeah. and how she was going to analyze the whole situation. You see, what I'm saying. Um, not really. I don't think I really overanalyze a whole bunch of. I don't really think I overanalyze a whole bunch of things. I think I look at it in a different perspective that I think maybe the um, other person probably wouldn't look at it yeah. as. <laughs> Just like them. Oh, go ahead. No, I'm going to say go ahead. <laughs> 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 like, okay. Uh, again, it, it just could be um, little things. Like, I, I'm, not, I'm not saying this is me personally, but just for certain, certain females, they might be like, why does dude always leave the toilet seat up all the time and always probably like over Is that an issue with you? No, not really. I could just put the seat back down and keep them pushing and moving all the day, every day, whatever. But so other people. Like, so, but you guys, you have stuff that's an issue that's something small. Lay it bare. Like, I'm just saying, like, for certain, if I'm thinking in terms of overanalyzing something, I think that's something that can be, like, overanalyzing in terms of having the right. seat up and then some people's like, you keep leaving the toilet seat up. Like, that's an issue for some people. Right. But at the same time, I will be thinking that I mean, in the perspective of a man that. Exactly. Well, that is one thing, yes, but then also going in terms of for the man that you should be considerate and putting the seat down. You know, it's, but, it's your first mistake. But, okay. but, first mistake. how is that the first mistake? But yet, I have to be the one the to look at the seat. The fact that you put how the word that? considerate and man in the same yeah, We're not. We are it's not, not there considerate. Are men, but you they're, can be more gay. considerate. No. There are men well, that can be considerate. I didn't what have I mean by this naturally is naturally considerate. Yeah. Naturally, not, that's what we we can be groomed in consideration. We can be beaten into consideration. But. I think it depends on, on your household. Exactly. Mm. I, I have three sisters and my mother. So oh, the, the, the yeah. Was like a major issue in our house. You know what? So but here's the thing, Diamond. Okay, so I was I was stumbling in the house one night drunken. Um and my son had used the bathroom and I, I had to take a shit. So I sat down blindly on the toilet and the shit was up and I was <laughs> angry. Like somebody has to pay for this shit. I don't know who. <laughs> I, I wanted to wake his ass up. Like, why would you do this? <laughs> so I understand y'all play with that shit. Like, no, but like this. I'm scared. Like, I'm like, like, I know my ass wasn't big enough to just like you know, even catch the rim or some shit. Like, I only, I only in. fell in the toilet one time. You know, <laughs> lights, <laughs> lights out. <laughs> I was like, oh shit! It's a trick. <laughs> I done fell in the toilet one time and I didn't fall as deep as you. I yeah. felt the rim before then. Uh, no, but the I reason see. why I knew, put this on the way down, I knew I'm about to fall. It was too, it was too because I was like, <laughs> how, I was like, where's the seat? And I kept going. And I'm like, as I'm, as I'm sitting down, I'm like, I said, first oh. off, I'm thinking of myself. Oh, my God. Yo, no, the thing about oh, it is this, the lights God. was out, right, oh, right, I didn't want to strain my eyes, right, 
point this. It's all the seat is always down. Exactly. So it is only me and my wife. So man, it still was like a month ago. <laughs> So, <laughs> so I mean, no, the thing, point like this. My thing is this: you always get that split second in life with anything. All right, has anybody ever been in a car accident? Yeah. Luckily, hopefully, but like, clearly, be no, all hopefully, but yeah, we all, yeah, hopefully yeah, not. But if you have, be yeah. here. If you ever been in a car accident, it's that split second that you realize. I'm about to be in an accident, yeah. and there's nothing I can do. Yeah. And like that's your only thought because it's all you're yeah. doing is bracing yourself. You're just like, oh, it's, it's too you late. Know. It's too late. Like, that's what it was with the seat. <laughs> you know, most guys, even guys that don't play basketball, well, if you play any type of sports, you realize getting down in squat position, like I'm in defense position. Right. But then you realize, okay, I'm a little too low. No, right, right, right. That's how I felt with the seat. I went to sit down. And as I'm, I'm waiting to be cut off at a certain point, mm -hmm. but at a, I got past that point, and I said, "Where can I possibly be going?" You had all of that, and next that, thing you that know, sober presence of mind. I first. felt, just like, uh, I felt the coldness on my legs. Yeah, I said, cold. "The seat has never felt this cold." A, this is the bowl. My shit was a trust fall. And I went and down, and it was untrustworthy. <laughs> and I went down. Yeah, but ladies, Spoosh. I'm looking like yo. But then I would hear females always argue about the seat down, and I'm looking like so. Are y'all just just walking backwards yeah, into the bathroom? Like, what like, kind of? Well, I'm like, what kind of moonwalking shit is this? Yeah, lazy. That'd be That's what you are. Like, um, it it kind of all depends. Like, maybe um, in like a bathroom is set up a certain way that again that they you just go in and you just plop right on the seat, you know. But it's still at the same time you want females to be aware and look and be considerate of just looking, putting it down. Yeah, honestly, but I yet, think y'all should leave the seat up. Is what you should do. Because you're the one who needs the seat, and you want us to not piss on the rim, so be considerate and just lift the seat up. It's not that hard. Like, I, we pee more than y'all. Like, I mean, I understand. Look it up. It's a fact. I mean, I understand, <laughs> but at the same time, it's not really that hard to just just pop it down, just pop the seat right down after you're done. It's not that hard. Good thing. If it's not that hard, is it an issue though? An issue? Not to me, not really. But to other females, it can be. Depending on again how they are and how they overanalyze things and how they make something bigger than what it's not, it all depends on the person. I kind of feel that's just a woman thing, period. The, the overanalyzation of everything, of everything, of everything. Just find it funny how. That's just your line. I'm sorry, it's no punchline of that. It's just, <laughs> just, 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 just oh, okay. y'all find everything funny after the fact. You know, two days later. I ain't females that overanalyze everything. You be like, you know, how you doing? Yes, it's a sunny day outside. What do you mean by sunny? What's, what's so I'm, sunny about it? I'm just it. simply saying the biggest star on the, the planet. I mean, you can see it. When, when, I was out, out. when I was out there, it wasn't no sun out there. So I don't know what the day is. It's 90 degrees outside. It doesn't sound like someone overanalyzes. Yeah, that doesn't sound like hot. someone is just having a really bad day and they just hot. want to make your day you I, feel I like bad. Fall weather. That's just me. That's you, just how I think. So can you think you, do you think you can tell when somebody hasn't been getting enough sex or any? I think I think you can almost um, tell when someone is not because all the evil people in the world. Give me some of the signs. Well, I think one, you can be a little agitated. Little things can upset you, like you know. Um, again, that's when probably little things that the person will do will just make you angry. Is like, why did you leave the drawer open? Close the drawer. Like, why is this floor on the floor? Exactly. Upset. Why didn't you pick up this um uh, uh, piece of paper that you just dropped on the floor? Like. Except <laughs> <laughs> anything when you hear so. Just anything to just get them, you know, except they're agitated, you know, uh, grumpy, and they just want to put you down too, or they just want to start something. I just think are those signs in which you just got to go, man, you need to get late. Just. That's a funny thing, because I've never had, like, one of those days where you'd be like, oh, like, I don't think nobody's ever had to. Have you sex. ever had a moment where you weren't getting enough sex? No. Well, there you go. No, no, because my thing, no, my thing, honestly, I can say with the bad days, how you go, but I'll give you those same emotions and all them shits are attached to money. Like, literally. Like, right, shit, like, right. it's perfect love. Okay. They're all attached to money. I'm down right now. Right, 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 I'm down. So, all those emotions, the things you were saying somebody was doing, right. oh, yes, I was doing Flip. all that shit. Oh, you just need some money. That's what it is. You know what that's, yeah, I'm telling you. Well, then that I'm depends you. on how the person is and what, again, yeah, what makes them upset. Yeah, right. So, if it's, 
Some people might value money, and if they're not getting enough, they might um, be feeling a certain type of way. Some people might value sex, and they not be might not. Well, be I don't think it's value. Like with me, like I just did everybody was eating. Yeah, right. I, was like, I just literally, literally wasn't eating yeah, well, at got, all. Like you got headaches in your stomach. Right? Exactly. exactly. Always a bad thing. That's just all. Like I had to drop. Like with me getting over, the best way to get over a woman is to go get a few more. That's just how I look at it. Shit. Yeah, it has to. Yeah, you gotta get, you gotta get a few more. Go out there, fellas. If you break up with a female, best way to get over them, sleep with exactly five females within right. the next. So within the next words, five within the so next. So in other week, words, it will be over. You'll wash all that shit right out. Exactly, just drown out the pain by just in messing poo. with a whole bunch of females. Hell poo. yes. Okay. Get, Mm-hmm. So pretty much get a whole bunch of rebounds. Okay. Hey, you know, Wait, it'll ram off the board. You know, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean that's, the board. but that's just, but females do the same thing too. Certain females, like after a while. Yeah, exactly. Reset. Now, what I could say. Yeah, right. She might start back over here, but she got to pass. I could say this. Pass Spencer. You got to knock it out. Was that, that kind of has an expiration date too. Oh, yeah. Because I've shit. had, I've done that. Cause I don't drink, I don't smoke, so I can't. I, I don't have that as an outlet. I don't have that as an outlet. So sex body. is the outlet. Now the thing about it is this: even once I started drowning out with the five or six, I started having what I like to call edge of the bed syndrome. That's <laughs> what I was just about to call it. Edge what? of the bed. Edge <laughs> of the bed syndrome. syndrome. Right, right. This is edge of the bed syndrome. After you, after you finish doing, <laughs> after you finish doing whatever you do. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for demonstrating. Edge of the bed. For those that don't know what edge of the bed syndrome is, that that is, is when you crazy. literally you at the edge of the bed, she sleep, and you just sit back there thinking to yourself like, I didn't even have to do that shit. Right. That shit was, and it could have been, it could have been great, right? And great. you still was like, this is yeah. great. It, it, this. All you did great. was feed your flesh. Right, and it nothing for your so you soul. You had a bad day, great sex, right back to a bad day. It's like eating potato chips. So in other words, it's kind of yeah. like you, you're drinking like, alcohol to drown it out, yeah, and right. the problem is it's still there. Whole damn bag pretty for much. no reason. That's what it sounds like. You're back out. Juice now. I don't even want to eat. And I done sat there and bounced. Put this. I think the worst case of edge of the bed syndrome we had, and my man Diamond just said we got a couple of minutes, so I'm going to say this story. I'm up at a spot. Um, I stopped dealing with this female after a minute. I kind of was like, oh, I'm done with them. So I'm drowning it out, sleeping with this woman, this woman. I'm just gone. In my mind, I'm back to my own self. Pop, 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 pop. So then I'm off the high. So this particular female, she was out. She was giving rhythm. So I wound up bringing her back to the crib. Now, normally to get back to the crib, you talking for about five minutes. I'm looking like, yo, let's get my mind. I'm still under the mind state of I got it timed out to how this shit is going to go down because I ain't got all day. <laughs> so we get into it. But she wants to make a fucking video. But I'm not talking about the sex part. She wants to keep dancing. So I'm thinking to myself, this is some weird shit. Right. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, okay. Carry on. So I let her go. <laughs> so I'm standing there being fucking Steven Spielberg. Right. Uh, like, no doubt. Yeah, you're doing yeah. your thing. Get go, it. go, uh, go, uh, and whatever. Clappers, and clappers. I'm thinking, I'm thinking that she's I'm thinking that she's just gonna do some sexy shit. Like she's dead ass dancing. Like it was a little bit of running man in there. Oh, like she's shit. doing moves and shit. So now I'm sitting by what? the damn phone, like Oh, this bitch is actually dancing. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, she's trying to serve? Like, she's on smoke. Debbie Allen. Debbie Allen. And so oh, I'm like, okay. Shit. So about maybe 15 minutes into it, she starts taking the clothes off. So I'm she's like, okay. I'm like, she's still dancing. <laughs> like, she's going nonstop. Yo, energy, boy. Yo. Woo, man, this know your arm this shit is like... <laughs> This shit is about this, yo. This shit is about three in the morning too. So she's going hard. I can't believe Ooh, she still she got this much energy. Go to sleep. So it's she's that's co- cause that drug. She, so she was really in the club. Hold on. She was really in the club to dance. Like she was really there to do that. So she dancing. So she starts taking her shit off. So now uh-huh. I'm like, all right, okay. bet. Uh-huh. I see. So you know I got a gas now. So I'm like, oh shit. So now, now so you gas I got, I got, I got go, camera, So I'm dancing. <laughs> we going. I'm not doing no two step. I'm just like whatever. She take off her shirt. I take off my shirt. Okay. She take off her pants. So I take off mine. I'm thinking this shit just gonna be flip the phone somewhere and get right to it. 
So another 15 minutes go by. So this bitch has been dancing for like 30 minutes now. Like literally. And like the songs, if you heard the songs, it started off, it's late night, so you know I got some cool shit on. So now the CD, now I think we on some rap shit. Oh, shit. I'm like, so <laughs> I'm, I'm so, like, oh. like, back in my mind, I'm like, oh, so this shit really can't be going this far. So yeah. she's going. So we finally get to it. So we get to it. It was cool. Mm-hmm. But now I want this bitch out of here. Right, I want you to But I don't drive. Yeah. Oh, she's so boom. So she, I don't drive. At she, time. she all. T- she drove. Of course she was. Of course she was. Light so light skin shit. shit, right? So she goes like this. God. So she goes like this. She's just laying down, and she's just like she's going to sleep. Normally I have no problem with spending the night if they drove. So I'm like whatever. But I just wanted her to just kept talking. Right. So I was just like, all right. I said okay. So I'm kind of tapping us. So this this chick is kind of out. So I said, you know what? She was tucking out from my I know dancing. what to do. I said, I know what to do. So I wait about five minutes. So I set my alarm. So I wake up. So I be chilling. So she sets the alarm. The alarm goes off. I'm faking like I'm talking to somebody on the phone. There you go. So there you go. I'm like, what? Yeah. yeah. I said, all right. So what time are you gonna be here? Oh, you already right down the street. Okay. All right. You know what I'm saying? So about seven, about five minutes. Yeah. Back. All right. Shit. I get fully dressed as if it's time for me to go to work. I'm talking about, I go through the whole motion. I put all my clothes on. I put the tie on, brush my teeth. <laughs> so I wake up. I'm like, yo. I'm like, yo, I got I to gotta go get this paper. They call it for overtime. They talking about double time and a half. So she's like, oh, yeah, you got to do what you got to do, baby. La, la, la. So I walk her downstairs. I walk her to a car. I'm like, yeah. So she goes into the bathroom. I'm like, fuck that. I don't need this shit ever calling me again. So I go into her phone, delete all my number, mm-hmm. delete my number out of the phone. I go to the call log, delete all that shit out. Yeah. So I'm like, all right, see you later. I was like, yo, I'm going to call you. I'm gonna call me up tomorrow. She like, bet. I watched her roll out. I'm going to run back in the house. Boop, boop, went to sleep. <laughs> Got out of there, son. So, so maybe it. sex is not always the clean. So this was another good segment. Beautiful lies, ugly truth, kind of horse from the game yesterday and everything. And hopefully, we'll be back here next week. I cheated to get that win. Not too. talking about Colin Kaepernick, because I'm sick of his shit. But I'm with the cause. I'm with the cause, but I'm not with him. Simple as that. Yeah. Can't be both. Can't. What? I can't be with the cause and not be against him? Kaepernick is yeah. the cause. Thank you. We, we just talked about someone being a model and uh, him being a model, so you have to be with him if you're going to be with the cause. Not really, Same, because... Right. My aunt wow. wasn't with my aunt was with the cause and she was against Ralph Abernathy. Abinab- Why he's running with Kate? Personally, she, she just see how he moves. See, she had no, 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 that was I that think a Ralph's a bitch ass nigga. Everybody knows him. Everybody so, knows like, him. Like, Martin, you cool. I don't, I don't fuck with Ralph though. I don't fuck with Ralph. And then it wasn't and it was more than one person at the time. So I mean, she could have yeah. looked at other people. Nah, she fucked with Mount, she fucked with Martin and all that. Okay, so she had other people. We don't think out right now. But I heard that Ralph was a backslide. Ralph. I heard that story about Ralph and some other people too that they were just like he was just on some shit. The backslider. He was a backslider. backslider. He was one of those the old school how, how a um, um Philip Randolph, how he was being offered shit, Ralph was taking it. And okay. they're trying to come back to King and be like, yo, it ain't that bad, baby. You know what I'm saying? They talking about 50,000. I'm going to get 20. <laughs> you going to get 50. So they got Just, these jerseys uh, over here, my nigga. Come in. <laughs> but that's another story. But black people, we got to sit together. Fist up. That's and that's that. Mm-hmm. So see y'all next week. Post- if you're interested in that Fit, yes. Firm, and Fabulous, inbox me. Get that weight off. No magic pill. Real results. <laughs> yep. Facebook, Yanny Social Gaming. Instagram, Ocean. 149-O-S-H-I-N. Luck numbers 149. You can find me on Instagram at Violet underscore the model. You can also find me on Twitter at Violet underscore the vixen. You can also find me on Facebook at Violet Mac. Uh, you can find me on Facebook, uh, Devin Epps, D-E-V-Y-N-E-P-P-S, uh, I-G, Dev underscore die. Um, and then uh, you can find me on Black Planet as well. as um, <laughs> Almond D. Brown, 69. <laughs> Sign my book. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Y'all don't use y'all Black Planets no more? It's just me. I don't even know. I don't even, yeah, I don't Black Planet page. I don't even know college. the email I use for that. 